Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today I'm gonna walk you through Granny's house. Um, here's the front. Don't ask. Um, <clears throat> and there's the layout. It is a, oh no, I built it in April, or I'm sorry, May of 24. It's a $48,000 lot, 20 by 15, and it is a one bedroom, one bath. I did use a few packs. I don't think I used a ton from these packs, maybe more so from the Dream Home Decorator pack. Um, but I believe Sims will, or the game will replace whatever items you don't have from these packs with something kind of close to it. Time to go to Granny's house. Yes, it's Granny's all right, complete with tons of clutter in a small area, but it's just so warm and inviting you can't help but visit Granny. Hashtag Granny, hashtag clutter, hashtag Mama One. I will warn you, when I say tons of clutter, at the time I thought it was tons of clutter. I honestly don't remember how much clutter I could put I put in there. I am sure you can put in a lot more than I did. So let's go check it out, 20 by 15 lot. And while you wait, don't get bored. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Do a little something something to keep yourself busy. Leave a comment, question, suggestion down below. You know, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. It actually would make me feel kind of good if you did that. But I'm not going to force you, and I can't anyway. So it's whatever you want to do. But it would be nice if you did. Thanks. Love you. Okay, so this is the exterior. Um, I did have, yeah, a few little issues with the roof. I couldn't figure out how to do it right, so... You really can't tell unless you like really, really look. But if you just look at it from here, it just looks cool. Sort of, it, it looks okay. <laughs> and then I don't, like I said, don't ask. I don't know what I was trying to do. I don't know why I did it this way, but I did. And it is what it is. Um, if you guys download it and do something different and then you upload it to the gallery, let me know and I'll go check it out. Cause I would love to see how you made this different, how you made it better. Um, and yeah, that would be fantastic. I'd love to see what other people do with my stuff. So, but as you can see, I've got some bunnies there and what are these little packages you ask? These are little bunny sweaters. Yes, you can. I believe I've never actually used them myself, but I've seen other streamers and you basically, you buy the little package, you open it or click on the bunny or click on this and click on the bunny you want to put this little sweater on or whatever um so yeah that's what those little packages are they're just little bunny clothes all over the place um, because you have a bunny stump and i believe this is a bird tree yeah wild birds and then a little surprise right here for you yeah you're welcome it is a cow plant and yes you can grow it yourself good luck keeping it alive long enough though um, but honestly, I don't mind uh, dead or alive. I love to have it be living, but even a skeleton um, cow plant is still pretty cool in my book. I like skeletons. They're cool. Why the door is doing this, I don't know. But there's the front hole for the doorway. The doorway is there. It's just not at the moment for some reason. I don't know why. But you walk into this little hexagonal or hexa hexagonal anyway room and you put your coats there you've got some plants there plants on that and then you've got a left hole and a right hole we go through the left hole we have this tiny little living area we've she loves her plants granny loves those plants she's got a little table over there table in the middle she's got her little crochet stuff here and then we've got a big TV with some pictures, and that is a roof glitch that cannot be fixed. Um, EA hasn't done anything to fix that yet, but I think it has to do with the trim on the wall, or on the ceiling, oh my god, on the roof. So if you use a smaller trim, you probably won't see it or see much less of it. Um, but I think it also depends on if the roof is flat or if you angle it out or down, you know, all that kind of stuff. If we go back to the beginning here and we go in here, we have the kitchen dining area. Again, smallish kind of room. This is Granny's little house, by the way. 
So you've got this tiny little uh, dining kitchen breakfast area here. Again, roof glitch, can't do anything about it. Um, you've got your country kitchen cabinets, which are perfect. The tile, perfect. This wallpaper is perfect for Granny. Granny has her dishes too. We've got some clutter around here. I put a shelf above the stove. Um, I don't like how these cabinets have the same things in them, but at the time I wasn't very, very good at um, placing, uh, was it alt placing other items to cover these items. Plus I didn't have a lot of clutter items that would be able to cover that up. Um, but if you have it, I suggest you, I don't suggest, but you can, you know, do that yourself. Um, we got the hutch over here and oh, look at that. You can barely see it, but it's there. The fork and spoon. If it wasn't for the roof glitch, you could see it better. Money trash can, refrigerator. Um, that can probably be lowered just a wee bit um, because there is stuff on the shelf. And if you want to put more stuff on the shelf, you're going to want to lower it. Or you can raise it up just a little bit so that it, you know, we're going to call those antique pieces of utensils. And then you have this tiny little narrow hallway. Again, Granny's tiny little house. And you have this cute little bathroom, half bath, with a country sink and a little country toilet, blinds, lighting. And then on the other side of the hallway is Granny's little bedroom. And it is just Granny. There's no Grampy. So, but look, that's Grandma and Grandpa when they were young. Isn't that sweet? I think that's so sweet. And she's got her old computer sitting there because Granny don't know how to use the new stuff. So she's got her old computer and her little diary book there that she still writes in, even though she has a computer, but that's Granny for you. Um, pictures of the hotel she stayed in or maybe the hotel that her dad built and um, the mansion that her dad owned as well. Why not? Um, Granny's bed. And I believe this is Granny's shower. Just a shower. And then, so Granny just has a shower. Why did I do that? Oh, oh, well, isn't that smart? Okay, so you have the guest, technical guest bathroom, which is a half bath, toilet, and sink. And then so as not to take up room in the main bedroom, all you need is a shower because after you shower, that's the only privacy you need. Your guests aren't going to shower in your house, right? So, okay, that makes sense. But again, tiny rooms, tiny house, small house. And then you come out back and you have your grill and your little patio set. I really kind of like this one. It's small. There's a lot of stuff going on. I, I know that you could clutter it up much more. Um, for me, like I said, at the time, this was a lot of clutter. Um, but I'm sure now I have tons more clutter that I could put. But it's not bad. I love this little living area. It's very quiet and cozy and warm and just tiny. But that's what Granny likes. Comfort and simple. Even though it's cluttered and full of stuff. But that's what makes it Granny's home, right? So yeah, I would like to visit Granny here. She may not be my Grammy, Granny, but I would love to visit her. Because this is a cute little house. Anywho. If you guys like this home and you download it and use it, um, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your Sims think. If it all works out okay for you. If you have any suggestions or anything on how to change it. I might use those suggestions in a future build somewhere down the road. Um, I will take it into consideration though. Um, but in the, And then you can hit the like button and the subscribe button. And in the meantime, y'all, have fun.